usually the next question is, well, what insulation do I use for my ceiling? Um, there's a couple of different commonly used insulations. And I'm going to get my little box of samples out here at this point. I mean, most of us are familiar with this stuff, fiberglass insulation. If we've got an open uh, attic with a lot of open space to it, we can buy bats of fiberglass insulation and just roll it out in the attic and, and insulate it that way. Another insulation that gets used a lot in attics is this stuff here, the cellulose. Can you see that okay, Abby? Yep. Okay. Cellulose is nothing more, oh my gosh, than ground up newspaper. Don't breathe. <clears throat> going to sneeze. Okay. Cellulose is basically ground up paper product. All right. And a lot of folks go, well, paper? I'm going to put paper in my attic. Won't that burn? Well, no, because it's been treated with a fire retardant. Um, and uh, it's also been treated with other chemicals to try to make it uh, unpleasant for bugs and other critters. Uh, so that, you know, some of the earliest cellulose we used ended up being squirrel uh, nesting material and mice nesting material. So they've had to really change and work at this stuff to make it so that it's good insulation without being good nesting material or having any negative side effects. So they've been using cellulose in homes since the early 70s, and they've really done a lot to improve upon the product from what it was back then. Um, advantages, disadvantages uh, to the two insulations? Well, the biggest advantage to cellulose, price, it's relatively cheap. Um, second, though, it's a blown-in type of product, so it does do a good job of filling in your regular shaped surfaces. You can blow it underneath boards. You can get it between framing members. You can really fill in a lot of the gaps and holes uh, with cellulose. The problem with, with fiberglass, if you roll it out as a bat, sometimes you end up with gaps and holes. And one of the things about insulation is, if it's going to do a good job, it's got to be really tight. You cannot leave gaps and holes in it, because heat will always take the easiest path. It will find those gaps and holes, and it will sneak right past, and all your money you invested will be for naught. 